S824. Does any <laughs> member wish to offer an amendment? Senator Ball. My amendment uh, would narrow the bill to the provisions requiring the president to submit a national critical infrastructure resilience strategy. This amendment is intended to address concerns about CISA's demonstrated weaponization of information against America's free speech rights by striking the provisions that would allow them to accumulate more data and information from the private sector. This change helps ensure that the privacy of individuals and organizations is protected and that information is not used inappropriately by CISA. Uh, Senator, uh, Senator Hassan. Mr. Chair, I oppose uh, Senator Paul's amendment. The National Risk Management Act is a bipartisan bill based on a bipartisan recommendation from the Cyberspace Solarium Commission, and I want to thank Senator Romney for co-sponsoring this bill with me. The bill codifies the Solarium Commission's recommendation that the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, conduct a risk assessment of all sectors of critical infrastructure and develop a strategy for government to work with industry to protect critical infrastructure. As the Solarium Commission noted, it's important that CISA periodically receive information and update its risk assessments and the strategy for mitigation for mitigating these evolving risks. This bill provides a transparent process for CISA to accept information from all stakeholders, and it allows, but does not require, industry owners and operators to submit additional information that they believe CISA should consider. We'd be doing our communities a disservice to force them to rely on old, outdated assessments and strategies. For that reason, I urge my colleagues to oppose Senator Paul's amendment. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Senator Romney. I'd, I'd, I'd add my support to uh, Senator Hassett's comments, which is this is uh, basically saying that we'd like to have an assessment of our cyber risks to critical infrastructure. We're talking about power grids, pipelines, our defense industrial base, our water systems, transportation systems. So it's making an assessment on an every five-year basis of how vulnerable we are. The data we're collecting is all done voluntarily. Is this saying to the private enterprises, if you would like to provide this information so that we can learn from one another and share the risks and vulnerabilities, we can do so. Uh, I think it's pretty clear looking around the world that there are adversaries that would like to potentially interfere with our critical infrastructure and use that as a weapon, uh, potentially a very dangerous weapon that would put us on our knees. Uh, so we need this information. Uh, I believe that companies will be happy to provide this because it's going to be in their interest. But again, it's voluntary. This is not required. It's voluntary. And, and those that oppose this amendment say, well, but there might be uh, you know, pressure from the public that why aren't you providing this information? My goodness, companies can stand up to, to opinions in the, in the public, and they have to do what they believe is in the best interest of their enterprise and in the safety of our infrastructure. So we really should not uh, adopt this amendment and instead put in place the requirement to have uh, CISA uh, carry out this assessment on a f every five-year basis. I'd love to see it done more quick, more regularly than that, but at least on a five-year basis, what the risks are to our critical infrastructure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Romney. If there's, uh, no, for if there's, there's no further debate on the Paul Amendment, one amendment, the questions on its adoption, all those in favor will say aye. aye. All those opposed, nay. No. The majority of members having voted in the negative, the nays have it, the amendment is not agreed to. The Paul Amendment number one is not adopted. If there's no further debate or amendment, the question's on final passage of S824. The clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. No by proxy. Or Sen excuse me, excuse me, aye by proxy. Aye by proxy. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Sinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Blumenthal. Aye. Senator Paul. No. Senator Johnson. Aye by proxy. Senator Langford. Aye. Senator Romney. Aye. Senator Scott. Aye. Senator Hawley. Aye. Senator Marshall. Aye by proxy. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are 11, the nays are 1. On the vote by proxy, and for the record only, the yeas are 3, the nays are 0. On this vote, the yeas are 11, the nays are 1, and the motion is agreed to. Uh, we will proceed to consideration of S884. Does any member wish to offer an amendment? Seeing uh, no amendments are being offered and there's no further debate, the questions on final passage of S884, the clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. Aye by proxy. 
Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Cinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Blumenthal. Aye. Senator Paul. No. Senator Johnson. Aye by uh, proxy. Senator Lankford. Aye. Senator Romney. Aye. Senator Scott. Aye. Senator Hawley. Aye. Senator Marshall. Aye by proxy. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are 11, the nays are 1. On the vote by proxy, and for the record only, the yeas are 3, the nays are 0. On this vote, the yeas are 11, the nays are 1, and the motion is agreed to. We'll now proceed to consideration of S-932. Uh, if there's no further debate, the questions on final passage of Mr. S- Mr. Chairman, oh, could, could I be added as a co-sponsor to S-932? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Senator Hawley will be added as a co-sponsor to S-932. Uh, the clerk will now call the roll. Senator Carper. Aye by proxy. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Cinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Blumenthal. Aye. Senator Paul. Aye by aye. Senator Johnson. Aye by proxy. Senator Lankford. Aye. Senator Romney. Aye. Senator Scott. Aye. Senator Hawley. Aye. Senator Marshall. Aye by proxy. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are 12, the nays are 0. On this vote by proxy, on the vote by proxy for the record, only the yeas are 3, the nays are 0. On this vote, the yeas are 12, the nays are 0, and the motion is agreed to. We'll proceed to consideration of S-933. If there's no further debate, the question's on final passage of S-933. The clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. Aye by proxy. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Cinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Aye. Senator Blumenthal. Senator Paul. Aye. Senator Johnson. Aye by proxy. Senator Lankford. Aye. Senator Romney. Aye. Senator Scott. Aye. Senator Hawley. Aye. Senator Marshall. Aye by proxy. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are 12, the nays are 0. On the vote by proxy and for the record only, the yeas are 3, the nays are 0. On this vote, the yeas are 12, the nays are 0, and the motion is agreed to. We'll now proceed to consideration of